Hey guys, this is Andrew Grove, aka this passing for commerce.com, and today I'm doing a. I think this will be the first part of a leak finder series I'm doing with Mr. Patrick. How are you doing? Wow, I'm not doing too bad. Thank you for asking. So we have four tables of Zoom uh, 25 PLO on Poker Stars that Patrick recorded. Um, before we get into the footage, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and your poker career so far? As you guys know, my name is uh, Patrick. I am a 22-year-old college student uh, from the University of Western Ontario. I am from Canada. Uh, I started playing poker probably at around 13, playing Play Money on Poker Stars. Oh, wow. So you've been in the game for a long time. Yeah, but I mean, it, I was definitely a casual for the longer amount of time. And then like, there's always like those points, like I turned 18, like, all right, I'm going to take it serious, you know, deposit 25 bucks on Stars, you know, blow it, lose it. And then I think sometime around November of 2013, I decided, all right, let's try to do this. Let's give this a shot, see if I can make a career out of it. And I started off with 50-50s. Things didn't, uh, thing, th I just felt like it wasn't profitable enough to stay into it, so I kind of took a hiatus. Uh -huh. And fortunately, I ran into s some financial benefits getting a backer, and he told me to play PLO, gave PLO a shot, and so far the shot has sucked. And PLO has... Er, MTTs has saved my bankroll, but I still want to give PLO a shot. I still feel like it can be profitable if I fix fix some leaks. Hopefully, I'll find it during this video. Okay, so like I think mostly your background is from tournaments, right? So mostly like nine max. So is six max kind of sort of new to you, or do you still like? How do you feel about like six, six max in general? I don't mind it. I mean, it is a lot more faster pace than nine max. I feel like nine max is a little bit easier to autopilot, and I think that's one of the biggest problems I encounter is since when I used to play I had autopilot nine tables where like every every situation it's not like obvious but it's a little bit easier to comprehend and it's a little bit faster whereas you know when you're playing six handed there's a little bit more variety and there's a lot more uh, in depth uh, intricacies that you need to think about when you think about hands. Exactly and I think you mentioned before when we were talking earlier you kind of play kind of longer sessions maybe when you're playing um, some zoom at the beginning of your uh, multi table tournament grind. Um, maybe start autopiling a bit. So there might be a little bit about a little bit of this in the video, but um, we're not going to be autopiling when we're uh, doing the leak finder. So we'll be uh, we'll be going into this. Okay, um, we have lots of footage. I think this will be two parts, but the first part we're just going to grind through um, uh, this Zoom video here, and we have uh, some footage of regular tables. If we have um, enough time for that, we can get into it maybe in the next video. But uh, for now, this is what we're gonna gonna go with. So. Um, yeah, I'm just going to start the footage here, and uh, yeah, as always, labels 1, 2, 3, and 4. I don't know if before, you, as you start, I don't know, the stats, it's just VPIP, standard stuff, and just the, the thin 3-bet, and then the bottom line is their opening percentages, so like the amount of times that they open from uh, under the gun, middle position, cutoff, button, swap line. Is that PFR, or is it um, unopened PFR? Uh, unopened. Okay, good, good, good. So, yeah, so, okay, so it's, it will be under the gun. Okay, cool. That's very important. I think in my HUD, I have that for the steel spots, so, like, cut off button and small blinds. And then I also have, like, versus steel. Um, and I, it doesn't seem like you have that. Like, when you're, um, like, if you steal yourself, like, how they react in the blinds, like, how often they three bet and call, which is good to know, because I think well, before we started, um, we were talking briefly before we started the footage here about how he's trying to um, open more buttons now or just play kind of more buttons in general. And I think that's a good idea playing, especially in um, at 25 PLO, you should be able to steal, I would say, close to 100% if you want to. But, you know, sometimes if someone's three betting a lot and calling a lot, then maybe you can you can tighten up a little bit. So if, if, you, if you can see exactly where it is um, in, uh, if, if you could look on your HUD and see that um, before you open on the button, you know, it's kind of helpful. And so having to click all the time, but uh, it's not a huge deal. Um, we're going to continue here. Okay, so table one here, we have a uh, a spot just to make sure that, you know, we can, um, we're looking at preflop stats sometimes. It seems like he's 16-8 so far, but like, you know, he should probably be folding a lot. I think most players in Zoom are folding a lot, especially at 25 and 50, even up to like 200, they're folding a lot to uh, steal. So that should be profitable, but um, just keep in mind, you know, it's not a mandatory open and the hand's kind of junky. And also, too, you can limp sometimes if you want to develop a limping range for someone who's 
um, who's going to be, you know, aggressive against you. And a few stats to look at. I, I know you don't have them in your HUD right now, but um, like three bet versus steel and like call on big blind versus steel. Just to um, keep in mind, like if someone has a very low um, stat for 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 uh, both of them, then uh, you could be. Um, you could be stealing this very confidently and folding to the three bet. I think is pretty standard versus anyone.